Juneteenth is the day of Jubilee. Juneteenth is Emancipation Day. Juneteenth is the day that freedom arrived. It was a day of joy and hope because now enslaved people who had been separated from their family, from mothers, from sons, they had the hope of possibly reuniting. They had the hope of possibly being able to rekindle family relationships, but also build a new life in freedom. For all those reasons, June 10th, June 19th, 1865, was a day of jubilee for the Galveston area enslaved people who until then were not free. And so the reason why it should be a national holiday is because we all have a relationship with slavery. The national holiday is a moment for this country to interrogate its relationship to its past and try to figure out a healing relationship with that past. At OU, I found the most engaged, the most politically engaged and adept student population. There's something happening here special <laughs> in terms of student activism going back to the 60s that helped to create my department, the Claire Luper Department for African and African American Studies, all the way to the present. And in the last two years, really seeing some of the fruits of that come, come to pass. Juneteenth is an opportunity for us to care about each other and the ways in which we've been impacted differently by that common history. If we can begin to appreciate all of that, that will put us in a healing relationship rooted in an ethic of care and concern. But we can only enter into one, as my dear brother Michael Eric Dyson says, by learning to love the hell out of each other. And so Juneteenth is gonna be that annual reminder. And this is why I'm so excited now, because now Juneteenth has a national platform. We need to grapple with that. Juneteenth is gonna become that moment every year to say, why are we still where we are? And so that's for me the hope, and that's why Juneteenth won't for me just be about remembrance. It'll also be about revival.